Welcome to the high score tutorial. Previously we made the code as you can see on the screen in front of you so that it would store the names of players and the high scores of players. In this session we're going to get it to write that data to cloud variables. If you're still a new scratcher you won't have access to cloud variables yet so you'll have to wait until you do before you can try this tutorial. Now first thing let's create a cloud variable. I'm going to call it high scores cloud variable. Okay. As you can see, cloud variables only support numbers, not letters or symbols. So it's going to be easy to add our scores, but how are we going to add the letters of our usernames? Well, we're going to do that by turning the letters into numbers. So let's go into the high score code. We're going to make a variable called all characters for this sprite only. And in all characters, we're going to store every character that is allowed in a username. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. All alphabetical characters, all numbers, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, the minus and the underscore. They're the only characters you can have in a username. No spaces, no symbols, just those. I'm also going to transfer those to a list for reasons I will explain later. So all characters in <laughs> small letters because it's for this sprite only. We're going to transfer all of that into the list. So we will also, these variables should have been deleted in the last tutorial. I re they're there because I renamed them all to for all sprite variables. So I can delete the old copies there and there. Right, delete all of the all characters list to make sure it's empty. Now using the variable I'm going to step through all characters. So we'll start off with index is 1. I'm going to step through all the characters so that's repeating length of all characters. and adding each character to the list in turn. So add letter index of all characters to all characters and then increase the index. Okay, so when I've run that, I will have a variable set up and a list with all those letters, one in each item of the list. Now, when I'm storing the data, I need to know how long the username is going to be because I need to know how many characters to read in. So, the length of a cloud variable can be up to 256 numbers long. I'm going to store an index for each letter. So, if the first letter is A, it's going to be 0, 1, first place B, 0, 2, C, 0, 3, and all the way up. I'm storing it as Two digits long, so zero one instead of just one, because imagine I read the number 11 back, how would I know whether that was referring to K, 11th letter, or to two A's, one and one? That way each one has to be two digits, so zero, one, zero, two, and so on. I'm going to say that I will allow usernames of up to 12 characters in length, because I have to know how many of the numbers I'm reading back are going to be part of the username. So I'm going to say the first 12 characters. So I'll make a quick function, make a block called get username. Run without refresh because even though it's looping, I want it to work quickly. I'm going to set a variable called username for this sprite only, and I'm going to repeat 12 times because it's going to be a maximum of 12 letters long. Before I do that, will set username to an empty string. So set username to nothing at all. Right, in this, and I need to set the index as well. So we'll set index to one. Now in this loop, I'm going to set the username and I'm going to add a letter to it. So set username to join 
whatever was in username, so the variable username, and the first letter of the sensing block username, which is the scratch scratch players scratch users actual username. So it wants to be adding letter index, so the first letter of the username, and then changing index by one. So the next time through we'll add the second letter, the third letter, and so on, up to 12 letters in length. Now if it's already if, if the username is not 12 letters in length, obviously it can't get 12 letters, so it wants to bail out early. So we'll put in there if index is greater than the length of the username. And we'll just stop processing. So if it's only three letters long, we'll get the username to be the three letters and we'll just stop. So all this function does is make sure it's not more than 12. Okay, so at the beginning of a project, I'll get the username. So if I run that for me, the get username block, I can see this is the variable I'm interested, get username, it returns rock coder. Only eight letters long. If it was longer than 12, it would cut it off at 12. So that's useful. That also means in game, where previously I was asking what's your name, I don't need to because my name is my username. So back in the high scores, where it uses this, inserts names at high score, I don't need to insert name anymore. That should be username. And similarly, where it's comparing it to name, that should be username. So it, all, it knows my username automatically. Now let's work out how to actually convert this to write it into the cloud data. I'll make a block called encode high scores. And it's going to run without screen refresh. And that is going to loop through all the entries in the list, adding them to the high score table. So repeat, I've already, already got a variable defined for how many entries there are, high score, no, score number, and that is going to call encode name, run without screen refresh, and it's going to encode score. Add an input score without screen refresh. And I'm just going to edit encode name slightly, so I'm going to add an input there, the name. Now I'm going to have an index as I go through these, so to start off we'll set index to one. Actually, we'll make this high score index. New variable for this right only high score index. We we'll start it on one, and we're going to encode the name from the high score list. Item high score index of high score names, and then encode score high score index of high scores. and then change the high score index by one. So this is going to step through each high score encoding it into the cloud variable. I'm going to um, make a new variable called cloud data for this sprite only. And this is where I'm going to make my encoded data. So at the beginning we'll set cloud data to not zero but nothing at all, just an empty string. So we're encoding the name when we're encoding the name, we're basically encode. Well, we know that the name is going to be no more than 12 letters already, but it could be less. So we want to write that name into the cloud data. So we will repeat length of name. OK. 
Okay, and we're having to change the name into numbers because we can't store letters in the cloud. So let's make a variable called character for this sprite only. And we'll set character to the character we're currently looking at, which will, first of all, it will be the first letter in the name. So it's going to be letter. I'm going to use index in here to go through the name. I'll start with I'll set index to one so it starts at the beginning. And I'm going to look at index, uh, letter index of name. So if the name is Scratch Player, the first letter, first character will be S. I need to convert that to a number. So, and I'm going to call that character number. Now this is where the list of characters comes in. I can simply set character number to the item number of the character in the list, in all characters. So if the character is C, the list item one will be A, item two will be B, item C will be three. So it will return to position in the list, which is great. That straight away gives me a number that corresponds to the character. Now I need this to be two numbers long, as I mentioned before. So if it's letter A, it needs to be zero. And if it's letter B, it needs to be zero too. So I'll just check if the character number is less than 10, then I'm going to want to add a zero at the beginning of it to pad it out to two numbers. So set the character number to join zero and character number. So if it was one, it'll be now zero one. But if it was 10, it will still be 10. And now I want to add that to my cloud data, the data that I'm building up. So in a similar way to this, I'm going to set cloud data to join of cloud data and character number. So that will gradually build that up and then change my index to make my index get higher. So change index to point to the next letter in the name. That's fine. We know that no name is greater than 12 characters, but we also know it can be shorter, such as Rock Coder, and we need to store 12 characters. So I will repeat. Twelve minus the length of name So if the name is 11 characters long, it'll repeat once. If it's 10 characters long, it'll repeat twice. And set cloud data to join cloud data with 00, zero which means no character there at all. And that should encode the name. Now let's encode the score. The score's easy because it is just numbers that we know we can store numbers directly into the data. We're only going to let it be, we're going to make it be five digits long. So I'm going to make a variable called score, all small letters for this sprite only. And I'm going to use a modulus function. So we'll set score to whatever score was, mod one and five zeros. Now modulus is a remainder function. So what this will do is it will divide by 1000 and it will give you whatever the remainder is. So for instance, if you had the number 17 and you modulus it with 10, it would find the remainder, it would divide by 10. There's one 10 goes into 17 and it leaves seven. If the number was 27 and you did mod 10, it would divide by 10. There's two 10s going to 27, remainder seven. It would always give you the seven, the single number. I want five numbers, so I'm modulusing with one and five zeros and that will ensure I have no more than five digits in score. But I want to have exactly five digits. So I'm going to repeat 
Oop, repeat. Uh, repeat until length the length of score is five. I already know it's not bigger than five because of this modulus operation. Repeat until length of and then the variable score equals five. And I'm going to pad it out, so I'm going to just copy that because that's padding. Set score to join score. Join um, put zero and score. So I'm padding out the left hand side. So if my score is one, this will end up with it being zero, 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 one. So I'm padded to five characters. And then I'm going to add that to the end of the cloud data. So join cloud data with score. So I've got code there to make a name that is 12 characters long and to make a score that is five digits long. Let's test that out. I'm just going to copy this code over here to test run it. And instead of repeating, I'm going to encode the name ABC and I'm going to encode the score 1234. Okay, it's just a test code. Before I can run that, I'm just going to run this initialize block because I need to set up the list of all characters. So I run the initialize block. Stop this running. Hide the variables. Apart from cloud data, which is what I'm interested in. And I'm making a name ABC in the score one, two, three, four. Let's see how that works out. There we go. Zero one A, zero two B, zero three C. That'll be nine sets of zero, 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 and then the score padded with zero at the beginning, zero, one, two, three, four. So that's encoded that beautifully. So this encode high scores will do that for every high score, so you'll end up with a long variable for all the high scores. Now the username can be up to 12 characters long, each one two digits, that's 24 characters, five digits for a score, 29 characters, currently five high scores, so that's 145 characters. A cloud variable can have up to 256 numbers in it, so not a problem. We can score, we can store eight, maybe nine, High scores in a single variable. As we're only using five, that's fine for this. So, in the next tutorial, I'll show how to decode these high scores and you'll have a fully working high score cloud system. If you're enjoying this tutorial and want to know when the next tutorial is released, don't forget to subscribe to the Botcoder YouTube channel. Enjoy your programming.